Hello, this is Manash Patel from the EII Capital Group. Today is December 19th, 2010. This is a weekly Chimuka analysis for the currency forex markets. Before we begin, let's go through and go for a normal disclaimer. This is for education use only. All charts are either in thinkorswim, tradestation, or freestockcharts.com. Okay, here are our contact details, and you can follow us at Ichimoku Trading on Twitter. Okay, let's go and look straight at the heat map. Remember, the heat map has changed. Uh, to access it is a paid subscription on our website uh, so you could go there uh, basically a quick summary of it uh, we have a rating system in here uh, if you get a 8 a basically a negative 8 or negative or positive 8 that means basically everything's trending uh, so uh, a positive 8 is basically bullish trending negative 8 is bearish trending uh, everything else is in between so you're looking for opportunities where the rating system is basically anywhere from 5 to 7 uh, because you want to get in before it starts trending okay what we have here is W1 means basically the weekly rating last week W0 is the weekly rating today the, uh, D5 is the weekly rating to, uh, from five days. Sorry, daily rating, daily rating from five days ago. D0 is the daily rating today. Okay, and the sediments. The, these are the four rules for the daily time frame. So remember, we're looking for opportunities that have basically five, six. Uh, if it's negative eight right here, you could tell it, see it's trending. But notice the weekly is three. So that's basically telling you that uh, it's counter uh, counter tr uh, trend from the weekly time frame. So the weekly is not bullish or bearish. Uh, so that basically looks like it's consolidating, and the the daily is definitely starting to be bearish. So it looks like it may be influencing the euro USD. Same for the pound, um, it's negative six, and then they look at the weekly, they're, they're positive. Over here, Australian USD, uh, looks like it's going bearish on the daily, but look at the weekly, it's still very strong. So it looks like maybe counter trend or uh, a little minor pullback up for the weekly. We'll go definitely go look at Australian USD. Uh, if you scroll down here, uh, look at Australian Yen, we'll definitely look at that, because look, it's seven there and three here. So it looks like it's trying to get bullish uh, on the weekly time frame there. That's kind of how you look in this rating system and going from there. If you look at eight and five, you, uh, Switzy uh, yen looks like it's trending to the bullish side. Uh, Euro Switzy is definitely trending, uh, and Australia uh, Euro Australian is trending now. And if you scroll down and you keep on scrolling down here, uh, you'll see that Australia New Zealand is trending too. Uh, and so forth. So let's go look at the charts now and let's go from there. Let's start off with the Euro uh, USD from the weekly time frame. And remember, uh, there were conflict between the two time frames with the weekly uh, daily was showing a bearish tilt to it. If you look at the Euro USD on the weekly time frame, price is in the clouds, so it's basically consolidating. Uh, Chicago is bullish. Uh, the future is bullish. The Tinkinson Cajunson is neutral because price is below the Tinkinson. So really, this is not doing anything at all. Uh, it's ranging between 36.23 and 29.65. That's a big range, but remember that's long term. So if you look at the daily time frame, daily time frame definitely looks like it's sitting there trying to get to this pivot here at 29.65. So if you're going to trade this short term basis, definitely go short and stay short on it uh, and look for opportunities from the short side. But remember, this is not long term at all. The uh, reason why is you're not there's no trend on the weekly at all. So do not expect big profits at all. Okay. Let's go look for our pound uh, GBP USD. GBP USD. If you look at it on a weekly time frame, uh, same thing. It's in the cloud. Everything's in the cloud, so this basically consolidating. Notice the price has hit the Cajun cent and kind of bounced off that. So just beware, beware, beware. Also, it looks like the Tinkins and Cajun cent are trying to flip. So uh, definitely looks like a little bearish side. And if you look over here, uh, short term, it definitely looks like it's starting to trend here on a short term basis. Uh, so I definitely would sit there and look for bear, uh, bearish opportunities on a daily time frame or lower. Uh, but remember, your the weekly is not trending at all, so do not expect big profits. Okay, let's go look at Australian USD and look uh, look at the weekly time frame. You can see on the weekly, it is definitely strong here on the weekly, consolidating here around the Tinkinson, but this is definitely still strong. Notice it's uh, had a bearish, uh, bullish, sorry, a bullish trend. It still hasn't violated the Cajun Center at all, so there's definitely it's still in a bullish trend, but it's starting to consolidate now. Uh, if you look at the daily time frame, you definitely start looking for opportunities on this to go bullish. Uh, so you definitely have to wait for this thing to get above 99.61. Uh, uh, and then, you know, honestly, 
this thing's got to come out of the cloud for it to even go bearish. So let's just look at it right now here, uh, right before that pivot here of 96.40. So uh, I definitely think this is probably more to the bullish side. So we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens on that one. Um, here's one where the heat map said both the weekly and the daily was trending. You can see the daily is basically taken off. If you go look at the weekly time frame, uh, wow, look at that. Last week was a breakout week. Uh, definitely an opportunity there on Australia and New Zealand. Hopefully you guys got it and uh, wrote in it because it definitely popped up 200 pips. Um, let's go look at Australia, uh, EuroCAD. EuroCAD on a weekly you could see basically uh, it's bearish sentiment but not trending at all. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of conflict with the Ichimoku indicators. If you look at the daily time frame, uh, you could see that basically looks like it's consolidating around the Tinkinson. However, it does have a bearish tilt. So if it does break this level of 3205, it can go lower. If it breaks this level of 3597, uh, then basically we're going to enter a major consolidation on the daily too. Uh, let's go look at US Switzy. We're just flying for some of these pairs right now. Uh, if you look at Euro Switzy, basically it looks like it's consolidating between a range. It's got a breakout of 95.46 to the downside, 98.07 to the top side. Okay, uh, let's quickly look at our heat map, see if there's any other opportunities we missed. Uh, Euro Australian, we looked at uh, Euro CAD. Uh, look at Euro Switzy. Let's go look at Euro Switzy real fast. If you look at Euro Switzy, look at the daily, definitely uh, tr bearish trending there on the daily. And if you look at the weekly, bearish trending, notice we got here to the double bottom here, and we kind of stopped. So you got to be careful there, but notice the Tinkins and Cadenson are still pulling down. Uh, this may, what I would probably say is this will probably pull back a little, hopefully, and then start again, but this is weekly, so it could sit there and keep on taking on. So definitely look at the daily time frame. I will look for a pullback if you can, close to this level here at Tinkinson at uh, 29.10 if you could get it, uh, and then look at opportunities to go short on this guy. That's it for this week for the... Uh, that's it this week for the uh, Ichimoku weekly video. If you have any questions, please email us. Have a good week.